now let's talk about how we can perform the relationship queries into the GraphQL. For example, you are making a SQL query on contact and you wanted to query the related account name, account industry, account, edu uh, account rating or account phone, account annual revenue. So basically you are querying on a child object and you wanted to query the parent object fields along with the child object so how you will be performing that operation here let's go to salesforce let's go to salesforce log into our salesforce org and here we are going to first run that query in developer console run that query in developer console so let's say we are looking for account sorry uh, contact ID, email, name, and related, uh, let's say, account uh, dot name, account name, account rating, account annual revenue. This is what we are looking as a SQL query. This is what we are looking as a SQL query, and this query we wanted to convert into the GraphQL queries. So, how we will do this? How we will query the parent fields while doing the query on child object so it's pretty simple straightforward all we have to do is first we have to prepare the query so let's say i uh, get uh, contacts with the count this is our query name then we wanted to utilize this query with the help of ui api under ui api we wanted to perform query operation query operation on the contact object and under that contact there would be edges and then under edges we will have node so what we need is we need id not comma did not have need to comma id name then it should be having a value then let's say email it should also be having a value and now we need to go to account dot name right account dot name so how we will go we will say account this is an object so we will open an object here then under this account there would be edges not not edges there would be node you will have account and then you say name field the field that you want to query and say value similarly if you want annual revenue you say annual revenue value and display value you can have you can add multiple fields as a query here you see so we just said account dot name account dot annual revenue account dot rating right now if we go ahead and click on send you can see here we are getting the data we are getting the complete data here with account details here with account details if you see here this particular first array Maybe let me give you the zoom so that you can also see it. Yeah. So you see the node and says ID, name, email, and then under that node itself, there is a node for account. It says account.name, account.annual revenue, account.rating. So basically, you are successfully able to query the parent object. And this is how you will be able to query the parent object.